Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hi there, Space Cadets. Lieutenant Dan Sonicloud here, reporting for duty. <laughs> this is our last mission aboard Skylab Omega. We have gone through the entire book of Acts and have spread God's message to every major planet in the galaxy. So Star Command is bringing us home. <laughs> I can't wait to be back on Earth and be able to walk around outside and, and smell all the grass and look at all the trees. <laughs> oh, oh, I love my job, but sometimes being cooped up in a spaceship can feel like being in a prison. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the commander. All hands on deck for Commander Cosmos Space Ranger! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. I meant to do that. <clears throat> Well, good news, Space Cadets. Admiral Angel has announced that our mission has been the most successful mission in Skylab history. Oh, wow. Incoming message. Oh. Oh. Incoming message. Incoming message. Hello? Hello? Greetings, Skylab Omega! Ah. Oh, Admiral Angel, what a surprise. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Skylab. Thank you. Your mission is accomplished. <laughs> Great work. So I guess that means we're all coming home. Yes. Yes. Some of you. Wait, what do you mean, some of us? We're sending a transport ship to pick up Professor Von Himmel okay. and Dr. Samanex. We need them back on Earth to work on a special time travel project. Time wow. travel? What will they think of next? Uh, wait a minute, what about the rest of us? This is an historic day. Captain Yago wants to visit other planets oh, and share God's words. Uh -huh. You are going to be a part of the first interplanetary gospel mission. Oh, wow. yes, Captain Yago and Ambassador Nofutu will be beaming aboard to join you on this historic two-year journey. Oh, two years? I know. We're as excited as you are. Oh, yeah, we're going to send the transport ship to meet you in three days. three days. They'll pick up the scientists and bring you supplies. So let us know if you need anything special. I could use a couple cases of chocolate chip cookies. They're my favorite. Yeah. We'll get right on that. Okay. Good luck oh. and over and out. Oh. Over and out, sir. Wow. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, we are going to be a part of history. Do you know what this means? Yeah, it means another two years in space. I don't know if I can make it. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll have plenty of chocolate chip cookies. I'm not worried about chocolate chip cookies. You don't have to worry. They're on the way. I'm worried about the fact that I might go crazy locked up in this floating prison for another two years. Oh, Lieutenant Dan, don't look at it as a prison. Think of it as an opportunity to follow God and to serve him and spread his message. Well, it sure feels like a prison to me. Well, you know what? God can use us even in prison. What are you talking about? How can God use us in prison? He used Paul, didn't he? Here, let me get out God's word and I'll show you. Oh. Well, look at that. Paul was imprisoned in Rome for two years. He was? <laughs> that must have been awful. Actually, it wasn't bad. You see, Paul was not considered a dangerous criminal, so he was allowed to stay in his own house and be watched by just one guard. Could he have visitors? Oh, yes. Oh. And Paul had visitors all the time. He invited all of the Jewish leaders in Rome to his house because he hoped to convince them that Jesus was the Savior according to their own scriptures. Wow, Paul was really bold. That's right. The Bible says boldly and without hindrance, he preached the kingdom of God. Do you think those people listened to him? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's check the virtual Bible and find out. Some were convinced by what he said, but others would not believe. What, would you look at that? If Paul couldn't convince everyone, how are we supposed to? We're not. 
What do you, Admiral Angel just said that we had to save the universe. No, he didn't say we had to save the universe. Admiral Angel said he wanted us to share God's word across the universe. What's the difference? Well, the difference is it's not up to us to save anybody. It's the Holy Spirit who's the one who leads people to Jesus. So it's our job to deliver his message. In fact, it's a privilege to deliver his message. Absolutely. That's why Paul went to the Gentiles. <laughs> and when Paul couldn't get the Jews to believe that Jesus was God's son, he went to people that would listen. And we're going to go everywhere to anyone who will listen. And just like Paul did in Rome, for the next two years, we're going to teach everyone about Jesus. You're right, sir. This is the greatest mission ever. That's the spirit. <laughs> well, kids, it's been great fun. So long, cadets. Maybe sometime we'll stop by your planet for a visit. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's all say it together just one last time. <laughs> Jesus is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. Stay safe, space cadets. Over and out.